Hey everyone, and welcome to another full-length YouTube workout with me, Zoe, your personal trainer and online coach. I'm so excited that you're here. Today, what we're gonna be doing is a full body workout using a set of moderate weight dumbbells and a set of heavy weight dumbbells. You can kind of mix it up using whatever equipment you have at home, but this is what I would recommend. Let me know if you guys have any questions. Otherwise, we'll go ahead and get started with our warm up, starting with big arm crosses here. This workout is gonna take about 30-ish minutes to complete from start to finish, not including our quick warm up and cool down. All right, let's go ahead and go into some big arm circles here. Good, you guys. Nice job. As always, feel free to add music to the workout. Otherwise, I am not gonna play anything so you can kind of personalize it and make it your own. Just switching directions if you haven't already. Awesome, a really quick warm up is really essential to make sure that you don't injure yourself. So that is what we're gonna do. All right, let's go into toy soldiers here. You're just alternating, reaching one foot to the other hand. You don't have to necessarily touch here. Just do your best. Just looking for a stretch in the back of your legs. All right, you guys, looking good. Last couple. We're gonna have three different circuits that we're gonna work through um, today. So we're gonna do an upper body circuit, a lower body circuit, and a core circuit. You guys know how I love to work. All right, let's take a nice wide stance here. We're just going into alternating side lunges. Looking for that stretch on the inside of the thigh, releasing those hips back. Good job. We're doing everything in reps of eight today. So a little bit different, eight or 16, depending on what we're doing, if we're doing two sides or not, but a little bit, um, a little bit smaller in terms of the reps today. So that's why we're going a little bit heavier, why we're adding in that heavier weight. All right, finally, let's go into some squats here. Width of the squat just depends on how your body feels when you do them. Hip width to shoulder width apart usually. Good, sitting back just like you're sitting into a chair. Last couple and then we'll actually get started. I'm gonna show you guys the first circuit in its entirety and then we'll go ahead and get started. We're gonna run through each circuit three times. All right, you guys. So grab some water, get a little more prepared, move a little bit more as I show you this first circuit. First exercise is gonna be chest flies. So coming down onto the ground, palms facing together, you are opening up those arms like you're giving a nice big bear hug. So here and then back up. First thing that should touch is those elbows, if anything. Only a slight bend. Then you're gonna come up into a bicep curl with a press. So here, bicep curl, press up overhead. Good, just like that. Okay, so then that was done. Both of those were done with your moderate weights. You're gonna grab your heavier weight. We're going into an underhanded row. So palms facing forward, hinging at the hips, elbows up towards the sky, and then back down. That's the next one. You're gonna grab one of your moderate weights. We're gonna do bus drivers. So you're gonna hold it out in front and rotate. Awesome. Okay, and then we're gonna do a dumbbell snatch. So I would go ahead and grab your heavier weight if you have done dumbbell snatches before. If not, just use your moderate weight. What you're gonna do is you're gonna come basically up into an upright row, and you're gonna snap it up overhead. One of my clients likes to call this the bend and snap. So hinging at the hips, watch this first, coming up nice and close to the body. I'm gonna go really quickly, up overhead, just like that. So here, up overhead, back down. All right, so that's the first circuit. We're gonna go through, get started on our chest flies. So let's go ahead, get ready here. We're gonna go, like I said, for reps this time, not for time. So we're gonna do eight reps of the chest flies, get prepped. We're starting in three, two, and one, palms facing together, elbows out, slight bend in the elbows. I'm at three and four. Good, you may have to adjust that pace a little bit, depending on how heavy that weight is and what that kind of looks for you, looks like for you. Last one here, good. All right, coming up to our standing position, bicep curl with the press, going right into it, 
bicep curl, press. We're going to eight. And breathe. Nice job, you guys. You may find that you finish those reps faster than me. That's okay. You can go ahead and grab some water or you can continue doing those reps until I'm done. We're halfway there on these curls with that press. This is six right here. Good. Seven. Doing awesome. Last one. Eight. Perfect. We're switching it up, going right into our underhand rows. So you're grabbing your heavier weight, hinging at the hips, and begin. One and two, trying to keep that core nice and stable, not moving that back much. Nice flat back. Good. Seven and eight. Nice job. Breathe. All right, grabbing one of our moderate weight dumbbells for those bus drivers. We're going 16 in total here. And let's begin. One, two, three, four, five, six. You're keeping those arms relatively straight when you're doing these. Right about shoulder height is perfect. Four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, I know you're feeling that towards the end. Let's go ahead and we're gonna go into our dumbbell snatches. If this doesn't feel right for you guys, just come into a single arm upright row, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get started. You've got a nice wide stance. Going up, overhead. We're doing this for eight on each side. This is three. Begin if you haven't already. Four, good. Five, nice job. You guys listen to your body. If you need to, go into that upright row. Take it. This is kind of a complicated exercise. You want to make sure you do it correctly. Last one. Perfect. All right. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Making sure to really engage that core. One, two, three. Good job. Four. Almost there, you guys. Looking good. This is seven. Woo! And eight. Nice job. All right. Grab some water if you need it. Otherwise, we're going through that second round. Let's go ahead, get started in. Whew, I'll give you about 10 seconds. <laughs> going back to our chest flies, you guys. In three, two, and one, eight here. Good. If you want to and you feel comfortable with it, you can go ahead and grab that heavier weight for these two. If you'd prefer, that's totally fine. Good. We've got two more reps here. Two and one. Nice job. All right, coming up to standing, going right into our bicep curl with the press. Starting right away. One. Good, you guys. Two. And don't worry, if you're not quite at my pace yet, you can go ahead and just get as many rounds done as it takes me to get this first circuit done. I'm totally fine with that. Just make sure that you're listening to your body. Nice job, you guys. Almost there. Two more. Good, if you need to use your knees a little bit for that press, go ahead and do so. That was our last one. Going into our underhand row, grabbing that heavier weight, you guys. Palms facing forward. Let's go ahead. We're going right through this, making those reps nice and fast, not getting a ton of break here. But if you need to, feel free to take some rest and rejoin us when you can. Last two, good, and one, perfect. All right, going into bus drivers. Remember, your hands are at about shoulder height, not higher, right about here. We'll start right away. One, two, three, four, five, six, good job. Halfway. 14, 15, and 16. All right. Now we're going back into our dumbbell snatches. First side. In three, two, and one. Let's go ahead and start. Good. I'm so used to counting down that I just do it naturally, apparently. <laughs> All right. This is four. Good. You guys know your modification. Take it if you need it. Good. Last one on this side. Nice job. 
Shake those arms out. Switching it up here. Beginning on that second side. Let's go. Nice job, you guys, looking good. We're using some of these last exercises in each circuit that are a little more dynamic to get that heart rate up. Whew. Good, we've got one more here. Nice job, you guys. Perfect. All right, grab some water if you need it. I'm gonna take a sip. Then we've got one more round of our upper body. Then we get to switch. All right. Get set up here. Going back to the ground. Last time through. Give it your all on each of these exercises. Going into chest flies. In three, two, and one. Go ahead and begin. Remember with these, you're going up over your chest, not over your head. Squeezing those chest muscles as you come up to the top. Good. Almost there, last two. Good, last one. Nice job. All right, coming back up to the top. Bicep curl at the press, eight times. Let's go. Those arms should be starting to get a little bit tired. <laughs> that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Got five more reps, but that's why we're going for eight today. Good. Got one more here, doing awesome. Nice job, you guys. All right, grabbing our heavies, underhanded row. Palms facing forward, go ahead and begin. Remember you're hinging at the back, or at the hips, you've got that flat back. Begin if you haven't already. Good, I've got three and two. Last one, nice job. All right, going into our bus drivers. I know this is a new move for you guys. I'm sure you're loving it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and begin. 16. 9, 8, 7, 6. Hold on. 4, 3, 2, and 1. Whoo! Lighten up those shoulders. All right. Now we've got our last time through dumbbell snatches. Getting set up here. First side, remember you're skimming. It's just almost just right in front of your body. When you're doing this movement, go ahead and start. Good, almost done. Almost to that bigger break. Doing great. I've got two more on this side. Keep it moving. Last one. Good job. All right, switching sides. Go ahead. If you guys have shoulder issues, this just doesn't, just doesn't feel right. Seriously, take the modification. Totally fine. Still doing great things. As long as you're moving, I am happy. Good, I've got three more. Woo! Starting to get tough. Two. And one. Nice job, you guys. All right. Grab that water. Take a break while I show you what that lower body circuit looks like. All right. So, first exercise I'm gonna show you is starting with the heavies, but you can go ahead, you can always go down to the moderate weights if you need it. So, what you're gonna do, you're gonna start by holding that bell portion of uh, the dumbbell, or you can use a kettlebell for these two. You're gonna go into a Romanian deadlift. So you're hinging at the hips, flat back, coming up. Be careful here. Tossing that weight or basically holding it like this then and then coming into a squat. So you've got a wider stance on this. So here, hinging at the hips, flat back, coming up, switching hands, and then down into that squat, back up to standing, right? You guys got that? That's the first one. Then what we're gonna do is Bulgarian split squat. So you can find a ledge, find a chair, something like that. You're gonna put your foot back, and then you're gonna come down into a split squat, just like this, so basically into a lunge. You can also do a static lunge if either you don't have like a step or a chair, or that just doesn't feel right today, or it's too hard. Go ahead and go into a regular 
static homage, okay? So that's your modification. We're do, gonna do eight on each side. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold actually both moderate weights, take a nice wide stance. We're going into static side lunges. So you're framing those dumbbells with, uh, framing the dumbbells on your knee essentially, around your knee, and you're just going back and forth, still sitting those hips back, one leg goes straight, other leg bends, all right? And then the last exercise we're gonna do is a dumbbell swing. So kind of like a kettlebell swing, if you guys are familiar, if this doesn't feel right, I'll go ahead and show you the modification I want you to take. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna let that, you're gonna start with the weight on the floor, holding the belt portion of that dumbbell, you're gonna let it swing in between your legs, come up about shoulder height. But the key to this is that it's actually a hip hinge movement. So kind of like a deadlift, you're focusing more on hinging your hips here and then squeezing those glutes to get that um, momentum you need for the swing, okay? So a couple complicated moves if you guys want to do something else in the kettlebell swing, I want you to just focus on just doing another RDL essentially, another Romanian deadlift and just really focusing in on that hip hinge movement. Otherwise you can also just do a sumo squat, feet out nice and wide and sit back into it, okay? So take either of those modifications if you need it. Otherwise, let's go ahead and get started you guys, starting with that one heavy Romanian deadlift toss squat combo. Okay, so nice wide stance. We're starting for eight here, hinging at the hips. We're starting with this first one. Toss, squat. Good, come back down, deadlift, toss, squat. Be careful when you're tossing that weight. Obviously, I don't want you guys to get hurt at all. Good, perfect. Last couple here. If you need to, you can just take this slower. No mid the toss all together. Good, we've got one more right here. Deadlift, toss, and squat. Perfect, all right. Going into our Bulgarian split squats. So you're grabbing those moderate weights, finding that step or that chair or whatever you're using. Here, going eight per side, eight, seven, good, six, five. You're pressing through that heel when you're doing these. Last two, good. Last one, perfect. All right, I'm gonna show you guys at this at an angle. Going onto that second side here. Eight, seven, six, doing awesome. Still got that chest up. Last two, last one. Good, nice job. All right, keeping that moderate weight, nice wide stance. Dumbbell side lunges, go ahead and begin. We're doing 16 total, so eight per side. Good job, you guys. Doing great. Proud of you for showing up, being here today. Love it. Almost done. Last couple on each side. Good. One more each side here. One. And two, nice job, all right. We've got our dumbbell swings. Get set up, again, take those modifications if you need it. Especially if you haven't done these before. No worries, they're hard to get used to. All right, go ahead and again, going to 16. Good, you're hinging at the hips. All of your power is coming from you squeezing those glutes, okay? Good, you guys, almost there. Last, five, and four, three, two, and one. Perfect, all right, grab some water. You guys made it through that second circuit for your first time. Getting set up here, we're gonna go back through that two more times. Whew, grab some water. Hope you're feeling that heart rate come up. All right, going back our deadlift toss squat combo. Ready and begin. Deadlift toss squat. When you're coming into that deadlift, I want to see that nice flat back, those hips 
moving towards the back of the room, legs are relatively straight. When you come into that squat, I want you to think about, act as if you're sitting into a chair. Good, last couple here. Doing great. Let's do two more. Good, last one. Nice job, you guys. Perfect, getting the hang of it now. Going into the Bulgarian split squats. First side, let's go ahead and get set up and begin. So you want your knee when you come down into that lunge to essentially still be right over the middle of your foot or on top of your heel. You don't want it to be where you're putting all of your weight in your toes, okay? Good. Last two, good, and one, perfect. Ooh, shake those legs out. Second side, get set up. The hardest part sometimes on these is actually just the setup. <laughs> good, halfway through on this side, we've got four more. Three, two, good, last one. Nice job, all right, shake it out. Going to those static side lunges. Nice and wide here, get started right away. Again, I didn't build a lot of rest into this workout, so take it if you need it, no worries. Our bodies feel different every day, and it's totally okay to honor that and be good with that. Good. Almost done here. Keep that chest up. Three, two, <laughs> And one, perfect. All right, we've got those swings. All right, 16 reps right here. Go ahead and begin. Let's go. Your arms are really just acting like straps here. They shouldn't be doing much of the work. You should be waiting until the last second to hinge at the hips. When that weight is coming towards you, and then you use those hips to bring that weight back up. Good, almost done. Last two and one, perfect. All right, when you come down into it, just let that weight swing back and then place it right on in front of you, okay? All right, back to the top, you guys. Grab some water if you need it. This is the last time through. Give it your all, because you're almost done with this workout. You're doing great. This is a complicated one today, so I'm really proud of you for trying it. All right, nice wide stance here. Deadlift, toss, and squat. We're starting. Good. We've got eight reps here. You guys are doing awesome. We've got five left. Good. Four, if you need to take this a little slower than I do. I've done these many times, so no worries. If you need to slow it down a little bit, totally fine with that. Good. And last one, perfect. All right, really nice job, you guys. Way to finish that strong. Going, grabbing our moderate weight, Bulgarian split squats. Let's go ahead, get set up. And three, two, and one. I'm starting on that first side. We've got eight to go here. Good, five and four, nice. Three, two, and one, Ooh, shake those legs out. Second side, last time through on these Bulgarians, and begin, this is one of my clients love-hate exercises. They're really hard. You guys know the modifications, take them if you need it. Got two more on the side. You can always use a lower elevated um, object. Good, if you need to modify it a little bit more. Nice job, done with those. Going into our side lunges, keep the weight nice and wide. 16 here, go ahead and begin. Good job. The hardest part sometimes of this exercise is just really making sure that you're naturally letting that weight come down, not holding it super awkwardly. So if you'd rather just hold one weight right out in front, totally good with that. Good, you guys. Almost done. Do a six, five, four, sitting back, three, 
two, and one. Good job. All right, we've got those swings to finish, and then we're done with lower body, and get more of our break. All right, let's get set up, get started. 16 reps. Last 12, doing awesome. Don't forget to breathe. Five, four, three, two, and one. Really nice job, you guys. Go ahead, grab that water, take that breather. I'm gonna show you our last circuit. It's only three exercises. We're gonna do it three times, and then you're done. All right. These are kind of, kind of com complicated, excuse me. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some modifications too. If you need to take them, please do. All right, so our first exercise is going to be a plank with a drag. Um, I'm actually gonna move this mat back just a tad here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna place your moderate weight dumbbell off to one side of, right in front of your mat. Your hands go right in front of that. You're gonna come up into a plank here, and then you're gonna pull across and reach that weight and pull it to that other side. So just like this. If you guys need to, you can also come down onto your knees. As long as you guys have that flat back, I'm good with that. Or you can always just hold a plank. So that's your modification for that one. Then we're gonna go into a hollow hold with a press. This is a tough exercise. Let me show you guys. So what you're gonna do is just, you're gonna hold both weights right over your chest. Just like this, you're gonna crunch those abs up, hold the weights, and then lift the legs. And you're just gonna do one side at a time, eight, seven, just like that. And then you're gonna switch and do the other side. This is really much harder than you would think. So if you need a modification, what I want you to do is focus on, you can put your hands underneath your hips, but keep that low back into the mat and just hold your legs as low as you can until I am done. You can also do a leg extension so here and then out. So those are the modifications. Take them if you need them. And then the last one is gonna be a Russian twist. So moderate weight here, lifting that chest. Feet can be on the ground. You're just rotating. That nose is following where that dumbbell is going, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and get set up here and we'll get started. Grab your weight, get set up. If you're using a mat, great. Otherwise you can just do this naturally on the floor. And we'll start in three, two, and one. So we're doing 16 total. If you guys need to, modification here would also be to um, make those feet wider. So I have them nice and wide here. As you can tell, you're trying your best not to move those hips hardly at all. Really engage that core. Good, almost done. Last couple on each side. Looking good, you guys. One more each way, last one, perfect. All right, we've got our hollow hold with the press. You guys can always just work on the hollow hold, which looks like this, crunching up the abs here. Okay, so that's also one thing that you can focus on. Otherwise, doing that hollow hold with the press. In three, two, and one, getting set up. Eight, seven, six, woo, five, four, three, two and one if you need to rest in the middle as we're getting your abs on fire i'm sure i know i'm feeling it all right switching sides and begin the lower your feet are on this movement the harder it's going to be so just keep that in mind last one good Whew. all right i know i'm feeling that russian twist chest up and rotate 116 so eight per side Good, halfway there. Really lift that chest. Five, four, three, two, and one. Really good job, you guys. All right, we've got that two more times through. I know that's a tough circuit. And then we get to be done for the day, okay? Let's go ahead and just roll right through it, going back to our plank with the drag. If you don't nice and wide, if you need it, totally fine. We are beginning. Good job. 
Again, take those modifications if you need it. Hold that plank and just mix this drag. This is a really hard, these are advanced moves. So just keep that in mind. It's not like you need to do this to still get an effective workout. Good, last couple, three, two, and one, good. All right, you guys, going back to our hull hold with the press, I'm gonna go ahead, and just show you the modification of the hull hold. So here, hull hold, good. If you're doing that press, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. All right, so that's the modification, all right? Well, it's also really hard, but I'm gonna show you now here, the other modification. So we're gonna go other side. If you guys haven't already, you're just going in that hollow hold with the press. I'm just doing that other modification. Should be almost done. Five, six, seven, and eight. Good. All right, nice job you guys. We're gonna go into our Russian twist next. Hopefully I didn't mess you up on those modifications. Just sometimes it's easier for me to show them. <laughs> And then you knowing that you can take those modifications. Really important to listen to your body. As you guys know, I tell you guys so much. <laughs> Almost done here, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. All right, last time through you guys. Almost there, just a minute or two left. Let's go ahead and begin. Plank with that drag, get set up. Whoa. 16 here. Go ahead and begin if you haven't already. Good. Over halfway already. We've got about six left here. In three, two, good, and one. Perfect. All right, I'm going to go back to that hull hold with the press. Push yourself. Last round. Let's see what you guys can do here. All right. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. Woo, that is hard. All right, second side, go ahead and get set up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Nice job, all right. Whew, we have those Russian twists, and then we're done for the day. Let's get them over with. One, two, three, four. Lift that chest. Six, seven, eight. Halfway there. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Almost there. Three, two, and one. Whew. You guys did it really, really nicely done. Let's go ahead and just... Stretch it out, good, slow things down. Let her heart rate come down a little bit. Reaching for those toes here. Oh, and breathe. Focus on finding that calm. Thank yourself for all of your hard work today. You guys did great. All right, let's go into a seated spinal twist here. You're hugging one knee and rotating towards that knee. Spine nice and straight. Good, and relax. Let's go ahead and switch sides. Perfect, nice tall spine. Almost done, but really important to cool down as well. All right, let's come on up to standing. We're gonna go into a quad stretch. So just reaching back, taking hold of that foot, and just Trying to balance, if you guys need to though, feel free to grab a wall. This isn't about finding your balance. This is about stretching, relaxing those muscles. Good job, you guys. All right, go ahead and switch feet. Switching legs. You guys are almost done for the day. Thank you so much for being here, for taking the time to work out with me. I really, really appreciate it. All right, let's go ahead and go into a shoulder stretch here. Taking it to the upper body a little bit. Stretching it all out. All right, shake it out and switch. Good, you guys. 
Switch, almost done. Let's get those triceps. Reaching that elbow and that hand towards the middle of your back here. And relax that and switch. Good job. Don't forget, I have a ton of other full length YouTube workouts on my YouTube channel. You can also check out my website, which is zoelauren.com, Z O E L A U R Y N.com. Let's go ahead and clasp our hands. Last big stretch here. Getting up into a chest stretch. Good. You guys can also find me on social media, Z O E L A U R Y N.com. Or, well, just those are my hands. That's my handle. <laughs> Zoe Lauren, that's where you guys can find me. All right, let's do a couple big neck rolls here, and then I'll let you guys go. All right, definitely check out my other workouts. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks again for being here. Really appreciate you. You guys did awesome. Super proud. I will see you guys next time. Bye.